streets, our buildings and ballparks. <laughs> signs are really just part of life. But a Cincinnati museum turns signs into an art form. The American Sign Museum in Camp Washington is hosting a Black Friday Signs After Dark event. But first, here's a taste of what the museum's all about. These were made by artisans. Almost everything in here is made by hand. And so it's as much an art museum as it is a history museum. And I really like the different ways you can use the signs to learn different things. I had always been interested in history. You know, I spent a lot of time in sign shops. I did work on a magazine about signs for about 28 years. This is a magazine that sign companies read. The magazine's over 100 years old. The pivotal thing that happened, probably, um, if I try to trace it, is they were cleaning out the safe at the family business. And inside the safe, they've old records and stuff, there was a, uh, what we call a sample kit. A little kit of examples of gold leaf. So I opened it up, and inside that was a letter written to my grandfather. And the letter from was a guy named Raymond LeBlanc. Now that won't mean anything to anybody unless you're a sign painter. But Raymond LeBlanc wrote a book about gold leaf, how to do gold leaf in 1961. The contents of that letter said, basically, and I'm paraphrasing, I'm getting up in years. Nobody in my family wants to carry on the, the sign business. Um, I've got my sample kit. I don't know what to do with it. I'm going to send it to Signs of Times because you'll know what to do with it. I, that really was the, the biggest seed um, planted in my head to start a sign museum. That's what the, the people that come to the museum like, is that story. It, it makes it more than just a, an object. It, it, it makes it, like I said, a whole story. My personal favorite piece, I mean, uh, I'll throw two out there. So one has to be the sign from Compton, California, the birthplace of gangster rap that has been shot. It's got a nice big bullet hole running through it. It was also an Earl Scheib sign, which is kind of a dicey place to get your car repainted. And it was one of the very few signs that we had to repaint. The paint job was really bad on it. Oh, that's funny. Uh, this is really, really funny. And joining us now is Todd Swarmstead, founder and executive director of the American Sign Museum. Thanks so Hi, much Todd. for coming in. It's, uh, and to talk about this. Uh, tell us about this, this, uh, this thing that's coming up this weekend, the Black Friday event. It's um, called Signs After a Sunset. We tried this back around Halloween and showed some scary movies. This is going to be a lot more welcoming, however. It's going to start at 8, 8 a.m. with Ferrari Brothers Coffee. It's a new friend of ours. Oh, They've good. got that very cool uh, barber shop, coffee shop down on Garfield Place. Yeah. Um, then around lunchtime, we're going to have uh, food from our good friends down at Camp Washington, Maria and Johnny, with their three ways, five ways cheese conies. And then in the evening, um, we're going to have food from uh, Bridges, a new restaurant that just opened up in Northside in the old Melt Place. It's got um, Indian f food, actually. Uh, f and food Nepali, from the, right? Uh, from Nepal, it's yes. It's the only restaurant in town, I think, that has food from yes, Nepal. Yes, exactly. Yeah. We're looking forward to So to this is an all-day type of thing. Is this sort of an alternative to the shopping frenzy? It, it, it is It is. <laughs> it is an alternative. Um, I saw that you had Arnold's on uh, yeah. Yeah. earlier this morning, and those are friends of ours, too. So we're, we're all trying to offer some of these alternatives you know, to that mad idea. shopping. Yeah, I, I was looking at the, at the story we just did where you guys were talking about the Sign Museum. You've come a long way since uh, you had the initial signs just in the basement of a, a building at 8th and Broadway. Yes, it, what a long, strange trip it's been. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, you do uh, not just events yourself, but you, you host uh, people who want to have weddings and all kinds of parties in we, there, right? We do a lot of events, yes. We do weddings. Is, it's a typical one, but we do corporate workshops. Of course, anniversary parties or birthday parties are a big hit since the museum is more or less a walk down memory, memory lane. It's a fantastic oh, space. It it, I mean, it, it piqued a lot of, I, we were sitting here, I remember that, I remember that, I remember that. Yeah, exactly. love the American Sign exactly. Museum. Todd, thank you so much. Well, yeah, thank you so much for nice having us. Nice of you to share Happy Thanksgiving to all. Happy, Happy Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving to you, too. Thank you. Uh, it is uh, 927, and uh, we'll be right back.